question. So is generally an employer's biggest insurance premium? So when you, you've got your general and everything, everything like that, different employers uh, different, have different sizes and we'll, we'll go through that as well. But as a, as a user pay system, so you can have no claims for years and years and years and be paying the same premium depending on the legislative rate by work cover. As soon as you have a claim, you will start paying for it depending on your size. Okay, so it's generally a use pay system. It's government legislated. So what I mean by that is, you may think it's legislated by work up, I can't do anything to influence it, I can't do anything uh, to drive that, it's all legislated, so I've got to pay my premium every year based on the insurance calculation, and you know, I, I can't do anything about it. Where we come in is we say you can do something about it, and that's what we specialise in, to make sure that you minimise your costs and your premium as much as possible can be significantly impacted by claims. So as I've said, claims cost is a huge driver in workers' compensation insurance. With a lot of our clients, what we see is they can be paying at a $50,000 premium, have one claim, an insurer won't tell them about it until you submit an actual wage declaration form. The insurer will process that, add the claims cost to it, and then your premium goes from $50,000 to $70,000, $80,000. And you get a bill for an additional $30,000 and you go, what's happened here. Okay. So what we will do is we monitor that as well. So we monitor your premium throughout the year. If you do have any claims throughout the year, we <coughs> take care of that for you as well. So that you don't get any nasty bills at the end of the year. 